I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. BMW's new flagship, the M6. It has the same V10 engine as the M5 saloon. It also has the same array of gadgets as the M5 and the same seven-speed gearbox and the same power, the same torque, the same top speed. And yet, at £80,000, it costs 20 grand more. So, what on earth does that extra 20 grand buy? Well, obviously, you get two less doors for starters. It's a bit lighter thanks to this carbon fibre roof and it's a whole point one of a second faster to 62. A big waste of money then. Well, driving it may change my opinion, but first I have to set it up. Basically, all the major dynamics of the car can be customised to suit your mood at the moment. Now, most of this can be done when you're driving along by pressing individual buttons, one which jumps the power from a standard 400 bhp to 507, others that do traction control and comfort settings of the suspension. But the best button of all is this little M button, into which you can preset all your favourite settings when you want to head off across country or get out onto a racetrack. To me, the engine under this bonnet is nothing less than a work of art. It's a five-litre V10, which, thanks to Grand Prix technology, can rev to 8,250 RPM. And to make it even better, the maximum torque is right up at over 6,000 revs. And this performance is just incredible with only 400 horsepower. And then you start thinking, there's another 107 available the press of a button. Handling-wise, the M6 has got a slightly shorter wheelbase than the M5, which should make it change direction a bit better. And it is, of course, slightly lighter, plus the fact that that carbon roof lowers the centre of gravity. Now, that all means it should handle better, but to be honest, on public roads, you can hardly tell the difference. As to whether or not it's a true GT, a Grand Tourer, well, it certainly ticks the boxes in most places. Like most coupes, it's not a true adult four-seater, but there's plenty of room in the back for short journeys. I do like this head-up display, which I'm beginning to get used to. It's always got your speed up there if you want it. So, am I sold on the AIM-6? Well, no. There's just not enough extra performance to warrant that extra price. However, there will be far less M6s around than M5s, so it's sure to appeal to those who want a bit more exclusivity. Me, I'd just rather be one of the M5 boys.